In the March release, we are thrilled to announce a new tool for marketers to create innovative, engaging, and interactive email messages in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. This fundamentally changes how subscribers engage with email. Introducing Interactive Email. The email form block is the first iteration of interactive email. Available as a block in Content Builder, the email form block enables marketers to easily build interactive forms that render in the end user's inbox. When a customer submits the form, data will write to a data extension to be used to personalize messages and trigger events in marketing, sales, and service. Now let's take a look at interactive email in action to see how easy it is to create an engaging inbox experience. Great, so here we are in the marketing cloud. Let's say I work for a fictional brand, Northern Trail Outfitters, and I'm looking to get more engagement with our welcome campaign. So we'll jump into Content Builder to do just that. Now in Content Builder, I want to start editing my welcome email. Here, I'll find the form block under the interactive content section where adding in interactive functionality is as easy as drag and drop. Once adding the block, I see five starting points. An empty form allows for building from scratch, a review template for gathering feedback, a progressive profile for soliciting subscriber preferences, a case form to create a support case, and a lead form to capture or update information in my leads. Now I've already added in the block to my welcome email and I want to customize it further. To configure the block, I can follow along the guideposts. What's great is that it allows me to determine a variety of elements. It allows me to determine where the customer will land once they submit the form. I select this by choosing the cloud page's destination. I can also choose how I would like the data to be captured, either into an existing data extension or one that will be created automatically and then to decide what questions I want to ask or what the subscriber will actually see. In this case, for my progressive profiling, I'm asking the new subscriber to share their first name and activities they're interested in. I can add in new inputs like radio dials, checkboxes, or image choices. Let's add an input to the form to see how easy it is to actually build. I'll add in a checkbox, and in this example, I want to ask our subscribers, what are you shopping for? As you can see, the preview on the right automatically updates to reflect my edit so I can see how it's rendering. I'll add in options for the subscriber to select, like gear, women's, and men's, and connecting them all to their data attributes that will be captured in the data extension. And now I see my newest question showing in the form. Let's say I want to change the order of the questions. I can easily move one in front of the other simply by dragging and dropping. Lastly, I have the option to add in hidden fields. This is any data I would like passed into the data extension, but do not need it to appear to the customer. For example, we're passing through email address and user ID to get added to the data extension. Once I'm done with the content, I can also edit the design of the form in the Design tab. Here I define fallback content that will appear for customers that are viewing their message in an email client that doesn't support interactive elements. But I can also make changes to the look and feel easily. For example, we can unbold or bold all input labels, change the color of the Submit button, and change the spacing between the image selections. In the preview, I can test the full form, including how the form will work when subscribers engage with it. I can also send previews to test the end-to-end -end experience, including submitting data. So this is easy for me as a marketer to set up, but what is it like for a subscriber in their inbox? Now here we are. I just signed up for Northern Trail Outfitters, and they've sent me the welcome message with some progressive profiling. Reading it on the go from my mobile device, it's super easy for me to engage with the different elements of the form, clicking into each area, all without leaving the inbox. Once I hit submit, we see that lovely thank you page we created in Cloud Pages.